Hello and welcome to the CritCast. Today we'll be playing Gamma World. Woo! Woo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Gamma World is, at least this is the seventh edition of Gamma World, so this current, as of right now, edition of Gamma World is uh, very similar, if not exactly, fourth edition, for those of you who have played D&D. And it's a very silly, post-apocalyptic, whatever... One of the, the second paragraphs says the year is now 2,162, or 151, or 3,000, sorry, 32,173, or six monkey slap slap. So, just from that line, you can tell this is going to be a bit goofy. Uh, it's just, very serious. Yeah, yeah. Very serious <laughs> game, guys! Yeah, if we, we're going to take it seriously. If, if not, then... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to make a joke, but <laughs> started the business. joke. No. no right. So character generation is extremely simple. Uh, expect your characters to probably maybe die, because it's it's kind of a lethal game. It's more focused on combat than it is uh, skill challenges and skill checks. Though they are still in the game, obviously, because you're still going to use them. But it's it's more combat oriented. Uh, so I think we need to go to page 29 or 30, and we can... We should uh, introduce whoops. ourselves first. Well, maybe. Smart and Alec. Smart <laughs> idea. <laughs> nah. All right, well, we'll start with you then. Who are you, strange voice in my head? I'm um, a strange voice in your head, also known as Blue Cat. Uh, how about you next, Perry? Uh, yeah, oh, I uh, wonder yeah. who he is. <laughs> I am Evil Master Saron. Uh, no, um, I'm Perry, yeah. <laughs> and finally... I'm Craig, yeah. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Craig. Hello. And I am the Dungeon Master for the evening, Seth Gray. Woo. So, are you guys looking forward to being mutant creatures like a shape-shifting yeti or a radioactive rat swarm? Sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love the enthusiasm. I'm... I'm just waiting and hoping that I roll a Yeti Swarm. I think that's what we're all hoping. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, speaking of character origins, we're going to start with that first, so we got to go to page 34. Yeah, there I am, yep. You said page 29. Well, I said page 29, and then it tells you to go to page 34. Who and, designed this? Uh, I, don't, I don't actually know who designed this. I should find that out real quick. Oh um, oh. Richard Baker. Blame Richard Baker. Or okay. Bruce R. Cordell. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so... Oh, I want to be a cockroach. Yeah, so what, what you're going to do is you're going to roll a d20, or two d20s, and then you those your first roll is going to be your primary origin, and your second roll is going to be your secondary origin. So... Okay, so it's like, is it a 50-50? Uh... Sort of. Your your primary origin is going to be more dominant than obviously than your your secondary origin, and yeah. you'll get some stuff from that. This is the first time I've run a Gamma World uh, game, by the way, and I I, I, re I really that. like this. What I've read so far. All right, so yeah, use your. Oh, it's making the noise. I gotta turn that off. Use the roll twenty for your rolls, so we all have that. Uh... Yeah, let's go in order of the bottom. What does that What does that mean? It means Perry goes first. Why? Why is Perry on the bottom? Ah, I did something to my screen. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll roll. Roll d20. Five. That's a five. Oops. Uh, I'm an empath. Is my primary. I think it's like a like telekinetic sort of thing. Cool. And what? What's your secondary? And writing it down. Nope, that's what I want to get rid of. There we go. 2014, which is... Py pyrokinetic. So I'm basic... Very... Sorry, sorry, go ahead. I, I, I'm, I'm very sort of brain mental. No, pyrokinetic's fire. So you oh. you have uh, a mixture of brainy stuff and fiery stuff. So You're everyone... So, I was going to say, he's basically Gene Grey. I wish I knew who that was. <laughs> Phoenix. X-Men? I honestly, I think I watched the first like two X Men. I'm like, I'm I'm done. <laughs> There's I've more than two. This. Yeah, they're doing like remakes now of like, well, not remakes, but um, prequels to prequels. 
so that they can they can who's the bald guy who's in the wheelchair who's super smart and has the brain stuff the guy at, like professor X. professor x right? oh well that's that's yeah i told you how much i know but uh i think they keep making prequels so they can keep putting him in there before he dies spoiler alert so yeah dun, everyone dun, dun. everyone needs Other to people roll yeah find out your origin yeah. and stuff and then oh, Greg, if, if you want to roll quick just type slash roll space and then d and then yeah, yeah. immediately followed by whatever yeah, I was just waiting for. Do you want to go first, Perry or me? I can do if you want. Roll to see who rolls first. <laughs> 15. Radioactive. Awesome. Come on, somebody has to roll again. One. <laughs> Radioactive. <laughs> oh, you're so close to the So close. Nice. Okay. Oh, uh, seismic. Uh. Oh, you should enable 3D dice. Those are cool. I think I have, but it aren't showing up, or I haven't been paying attention. I'm a. Oh, does that mean that means I'm a? Um, oh, double seventeen. No. So what happens is you I'm become an, an engineer human. human. Yeah. Yeah. So you you're a seismic human, unfortunately. That's. Oh, okay. I I guess I say unfortunately, but it's kind of hard to roll two of the same number at the same time. So. Everyone. You guys should be saying what we're rolling, by the way. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, we're rolling d20s. No, no. Like what number you get? Oh, I guess they can see it, but I guess, yeah. You oh, you're recording it? Yes. Did... Oh, okay. I thought we were doing just, like, the pictures in the background, like the first one. Well, yeah, this is a lot easier, though, because it's easier for me to record everything this okay. way. I mean, the last one was really buggy, and that was why we lost a lot of audio for, like, four episodes. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. So, uh, who got Android? That was, uh... Someone got Android? Yeah, someone got Android. Oh, yeah, was... that was, a uh, Perry. Perry? Yeah. So just, if you just scroll down in your PDF file handbooks, you can see all the racial traits you get for it. So you basically just write this stuff down. You write down your mutant type. Okay. You write down your skill bonus. You write down basically all the stuff. Wow. that That's a nice crit. At level 2, androids, when they score a critical hit, deal extra D10 of damage. Ooh. And then you write down the powers you get for this. Empath. Psy. I forgot to ask Craig, have you ever played 4th edition before? Uh, I've, play yeah, I've played a bit of 4th edition quite a while ago. So. Alright, good. So this won't be completely foreign to you. Oh, no, it's not completely new at all, no. So what are we writing down? Uh, you're going to go to your origins and just... Yeah, I got that. You write down your mutant type and the uh, what you get for that. You write down oh, skill God. bonus. Oh, like the traits? Yeah, and you write down build to last, and then you write down yeah your traits and then your powers. Because I think you get all the powers oh, that's associated. If you have like a Word document, you can copy and paste it there instead. Good idea. Whatever works for you. Much less effort. Uh, do, 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 do. So, um, is there any is there sort of like, because obviously I rode the radioactive thing first, is that any, does that affect anything or do I, I just write everything from both down? I don't think it really affects anything. I'm I'm I've been reading around here and I don't think your primary really affects much of anything. Okay. So what? Am I just writing down everything that it says on the page and except for utility powers? I don't think you get those yet because it's telling at least it says right here you gain. At first level, you have the novice power or novice power for each of your origins. So it doesn't sound like you get the utility powers. Just yet. I presume we don't get expert as well then. Uh, I doubt that. So we're just novice powers, okay? Yeah, I'm not sure when you get these powers. I think I'll be able to figure that out by next uh, session. I don't think we'll have to worry about it for this session though. So we also had. Let's see. Whoa, where are you? Empath. Hmm, that's nice. Great, I've got to remember what Weaken does. Ah, oh, I forget what Weaken does. It weakens them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to look that up, because now I'm mad at myself for not remembering. Uh, Do I have it with me? No, I don't. Okay. Let's try 
traps and hazards. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Is there always the bookmark pages and yeah, it's already been bookmarked. Computer. Sort of. You could just write down the page number if that helps. Good idea. Like I, I was trying to find a way to bookmark these specific pages, but yeah, if you open up the bookmarks in, it already has like all bookmarked out like an actual book, which is kind of cool. But like, how do you get to the bookmarks thing? Uh, if you're using, what is this? Using Adobe. Yeah, so you go to the left. There should be like a little bookmark-looking thing on the left side. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, pyrotechnic, you like to start fires. You don't say. <laughs> ah, fires. Ah. <laughs> Appearance, your hair is aflame. You, your touch can ignite a blaze. Your breath is an all-consuming inferno. Where you walk, you leave only ash and sooty footprints behind. Quick question. How come you roll to them? Because you take, you have two uh, origins. Otherwise, you'd only have one power. And do you really want to play the game using one power over and over and over and over again? <laughs> Probably not. So, yeah. do you get all of the traits from both origins then? You do at first level. Uh, for example, you don't get the critical yeah, effect at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you okay, get all no, the that's... traits. Okay. Shortening down. Seismic. Your skin is composed of tough organic rubble, several inches thick. It has a brown or orange or dull red coloration. Uh, all right, then. I'm going to call my my character's name already. It's going to be Ben Grimm. Just, ben Grimm? Uh, ben Grimm. All right. I think that, I think that was his surname. Grimm. 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 He doesn't oh, well. A very bright guy. Well, he's bright orange, so uh, yeah. <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> yeah. um, no, it's uh, the thing. We'll be the thing. It'll be great. I run around in uh, just uh, Fantastic Four branded um, underwear. <laughs> uh, oh, this is trademark sick. The, the machine. Uh, what was I doing? Trait that I've got. The machine. So... The, the machine powered trait that I've got means that I don't have to eat, drink, or breathe. Yep. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Plus four to interact. My I'm a horrible DM. I never remember this stuff. <laughs> what are you trying to remember? Uh, what weakened means? Plus half one. damage. Okay. Just making sure. Half damage. Okay. And I am. I, I should remember that, but I never do. All right. So who's filled out everything so far? Uh, okay. I'm good. All right, so when you have filled everything, go to page 58, and we'll start doing actual stats. Okay. Oh, there, there is, there is an importance to uh, which one you rolled first. So, which one did you roll first? Your five. So that was your radioactive empath. So, what's your oh, empath's uh, mutant type? Oh, that, that went to page zero. Uh, where do you see this? Um, it should be the very first thing in our traits. Mutant type, intelligence, Oh, mutant dark, type, you know. uh, charisma. Alright, so you put an 18 in charisma. Okay. Hang on, wait, so it does depend on what we roll first? Yeah, it does. So, because I rolled uh, radioactive first, then... Your mutant type is more important, slightly. And then, what was your secondary origin, Blue Cat? Uh, it was the Pyrotechnic. What was its mutant type? Uh, oh, that's page plant. <laughs> it can be a plant? Uh, yeah, you can be a wisdom. plant. Uh, you put a 16 in wisdom. So, an 18 in charisma? Mm hmm. And okay. wisdom 16. I'll sort this out with the internet, Seth. Alright. Yeah. And then for each of your remaining ability scores, roll a 3d6, record the result, and then just assign them where you want. Okay. Oh, so I, I can roll it and then put in whichever one I want? Yeah, those are your secondary ones. The, uh, the, the, uh, the ones with mutant types have to have 18 or 16 in them. Okay. Yep. Alright, so what, what questions do you have, Perry? I was just saying I'll sort my, uh, 
whatever it is without with you in a second as soon as I finish writing down. All right, how are you doing, Craig? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm still just writing out my powers, and then I'll. All right, take your time. Then I can move on to stats. I should have. Okay, I'm making a mental note. If 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 uh, if two of my skill bonus is the same on both traits, does that mean I plus them both together? Or? Yeah, what, what hap we'll, we'll get to that when we do that. All right. Are you ready for that yet, or are you still writing uh, powers down? Writing stuff down oh. still. <laughs> so apparently, you can get up to a 33 in an ability score at some point. According to this little nifty chart here. That's free. Tell you what I am going to do. Just in case I can't read my writing again. I'm going to... What page is that? 56. It's always a good idea to write page numbers now if you yeah. refer to it. Yeah. Uh, let me just go back up to... Size me. I'm not sure when you get these utilities. Um... I, I'm going to have to look into that because, I, again, I don't see anything on the What's actual page con here. con constitution? Yeah, con is always constitution. Okay. Oh, I, I don't remember what that means. Gasp, I'm wounded. Nah, it's okay. I always forget stuff, especially status alignments or ailments. Not alignments. Oh, okay. When I said that, I was implying that you should tell me what it means. It means constitution. What does constitution mean? Like your health. Okay. The higher your con score, the higher your starting health is going to be. Okay. It's, so, it's all coming back to me. Good. So, 18 in strength. Ah, so wait. And which will be a 16 in intelligence. Oh, man, you got really loud there, Craig. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> that was odd. Yep. Wow, I rolled, so, like, amazing. Was Android your first one or your second one? No, you're, you're not a, you're, you're the human. Yeah. Oops. Wow, I rolled one six in all fives. That's not bad. It's really but good. You're also supposed to be rolling three d six, so. Oh. Technically, you rolled six five five, which is still a sixteen in one stat. True. And then you just do that for every other ability. Right, I forgot. And then assign them where you want. So as a human, you have intelligence that was your secondary. Yeah, so that should be 16. Yeah, and yeah. then seismic was strength. a strength. It's strength, so that's 18. Yeah. Okay. And then you just roll 3d6 for each ability, D6. and then you just put that where you want. I thought I was rolling a 3d6. You're just rolling a d6. I, I know. If you were rolling a 3d6, those are pretty crappy rolls. Now that, that is a 3d6 roll right down there. Yeah, I, I got it. I'll use the first three as my first 3d6. Mm-hmm. And then you just stuff that wherever you want to put it, Craig, and whatever ability you okay. want. Pretty low there. <laughs> That's more like it. Properly done it because I'm totally not stupid. Okay. 
thrilling commentary. I know, right? I'll probably cut some of this out. So, just like, yeah. Except uh, even the part where you say thrilling commentary. <laughs> what, so when was I so seductive when I said that? I <laughs> wouldn't know, and I wouldn't ever want to but, know. Well, then don't mimic it like that. Okay. Barry, how's it going? Did we lose Barry? Nah, he's still here. No, no, I'm sorry. I was sorry. I was just concentrating. I was writing down my powers at the minute. Alright, you only get two, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, uh, yeah. I've done all my stats, so... Alright, then you go to page 60, determine your skills. Okay, so... Let me do a quick read. You get two total Roll or two of each? Uh, two total, one from each. Oh, wait, for for powers, or...? Yeah. Yeah, you get you basically get both both the novice powers. Oh, okay. You don't get to choose. No, you get both of them. All okay. right. Did you did you pick one? Well, I mean, if there's only one novice, then I don't get to pick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you get at third level, you get the utility. Uh, I think you get utility power for both of the classes. No, no. Okay, so at third level, you get to pick one of the utility powers from either one. Se uh, fifth level, you get one of the utility powers from either one. Seventh level, you get the other utility power that you didn't pick. And ninth level, you get the last expert power that you hadn't picked. And at tenth level, you get an uber feature. Okay. Okay. Jeez. It's a learning experience for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing this. Right, for your skills, you have some uh, bonuses that your class gave you. Or sorry, not your class, your origins, which are technically your class in a way, gave you. And then you roll a d10 and you get a plus four in whatever that is. Right. And you just write that down. So I've got bonus to... Athletics. Not bad. Science and interaction. Alright, is that what you did you get the one that you have to roll for as well? The, those are no uh, those are all but those are all uh plus four. I got like three that I can get that I get plus four in. That's interesting. Right. And then you So roll, what is that we Yeah, hum uh engineered humans get an extra plus. Yeah. So you roll a d10 now and you uh, get another plus four. Okay. Oh, okay, so... Yeah. So as addition, in addition to the, the plus fours that you got from your origins, you roll a d10 and you look at the table. Okay. Oh, so, okay. So, you, so just roll a d10 and then you consult the table on page 60 and you get a plus four in one of those. So your plus four is an insight. Okay. So you just write that down somewhere. Should I be paying attention to this? Yeah, because you're about to do it too, if you haven't already. Uh, no, I haven't. Have you done all your ability score stuff? Yeah. All right, so then go to page 60. Uh, really behind. 60. <laughs> Take your time, Perry. Okay, I'm at 60. All right, so you roll a d10. And you compare that to the skill bonus table, and then whatever number that correlates to the skill, you get that bonus. So if you roll a five, you get a plus four bonus to the interaction skill. Two. So you have a plus two, bo uh, sorry, plus four bonus to athletics. And you write All that right. down somewhere. And then both of you proceed to page 71. Perry, where, where are you stuck? Still writing those skills in, or? Just finishing writing off the powers, yeah. All right, the powers, yeah. Do we do we add our uh, modifiers as well to those skills, or like uh, to all the skills? Yeah, you do. So when you when you make like a a certain check, you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like four finish, yeah. yeah. So, so, so my I, I will have to refer to that chart as as well at some point to uh, <laughs> see what you need to roll for those type of checks. But uh, when you guys are ready, so, go to page seventy one. I'm sorry, were you, you going to ask a question? Oh yeah, I was just going to say, so because I've got a um, strength modifier of plus four mm -hmm. and I've got athletics, I get plus eight to athletics, yeah. Yep, 
Yeah, you do. Yeah. Wait, where yeah. do you get the modifiers? Uh, it should be on that chart at page sixty. Okay. Four, seven. If you write that down, it will speed things up quite a bit, but it's not absolutely essential. Okay, I've written my powers and everything. All right, then you're gonna go to page, I think, 58, uh, 59. Did I need to sort out my um, mutant type and stuff? Yeah, you should do that right now. That that's something you should have. Well. I've, I've written it all down, but I wasn't because obviously you were telling them guys that it depended mm. on. So you you have course. all your traits and your mutant type written down, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got that written down. All right. Yeah. So what is the mutant type of your primary origin? That's the one I rolled first. Yeah. Uh, the one I rolled first was radioactive. All right. So what is the mutant type of radioactive? Uh, the mutant type of radioactive is. Constitution, dark, plus two to all dark. Right, so constitution uh -huh. all I need. So you have an 18 in Constitution. Okay, I'll write that down. And then uh, your secondary origin. What is the mutant type of that one? In question. Uh, my secondary was uh, Android, which was intelligence. Um, so you have a 16 in your intelligence now. And now you roll 3d6 for the, I think, the other four uh, scores, and you just plug them in where you want. Sound good? Yeah. Three, oh, what, 3d6 for each skill? Or? For each ability score, yeah. Okay. And you plug it in where you want. All right. For the rest of you guys who are ready to do gear, yeah. fairly simply, you pick which armor you get. Scrub now. What are the other skills? <laughs> Alright. Alright, so you have pretty much a really simple choice light armor or heavy armor. Heavy armor gives you a plus seven bonus to AC, but you don't get your dexterity or intelligence modder added to your AC, added to your AC, and you also take a reduction to speed by one. And actually, if you read the armor details, it tells you a little bit what your armor looks like. Or what it's like. Uh, where, do, where do you page you say? 71? 71, and then you scroll down to 72. Sorry, Perry, did you have something to say? Um, no, I'm just going to scrub. That's fine. It, it's, a, it's a somewhat new system, so, you know. I mean, it's 4th edition, but it's oh. also 4th edition with a bunch of shiny new bells and whistles. Oh, that's shit. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, and I thought my rolls were getting bad. Do I have to have that one? <laughs> yeah, you have to have that one. You have to have a minus two. I have a guy in my fourth edition game that plays on Thursdays. He has a three in his strength. It's like a minus four. It's ridiculously amazing. It's great if you pick fighter as well. <laughs> Nah, if he picked he, fighter, he could have moved that to something else. He was he's playing a <laughs> uh ranger cleric hybrid. He likes to shoot healing into uh, people. Fair enough. I'll injure you. <laughs> oh, if anyone wanted to know what that was, that was a six. Oh right, I probably should <laughs> said something there. <laughs> so, Blue Cat, okay. uh Craig, what what armor are you guys yeah, thinking yeah. you're gonna take? Heavy or light? I'm thinking heavy. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go heavy. So you guys are gonna have your plus seven AC, so it's gonna be seventeen AC. Okay. Uh, do you want a shield or no? Uh, what? Shield, shield. means you can't obviously can't use two ended weapons, but you get a plus one bonus to AC. Uh, nah, no shield. What about you, Craig? Uh, I won't, I won't go with a shield. All right, so both of you write down under equipment somewhere heavy armor and then a plus seven bonus to AC. So your AC is 17. More right off than that. Plus right. 10 plus 7 or 17 plus 7? Uh, 10 plus 7. I've written down okay. my ability scores. Alright, let's jump back to Perry. Perry, if you go to page 60, which is like the next page, then roll a d10. Whatever skill you roll, or whatever number you roll, corresponds to a skill on this table. 
and you get plus four of that skill. So, so roll it. I try to D10, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is a four. You get a plus four bonus to insight. So write that down <laughs> somewhere in your character sheet, and then proceed to page seventy-one. Um, uh, what well, should I just write that down as like a? Just anywhere, just so you know you have it. Um. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I should put it here. Have you guys, uh, Craig and Blue Cat, have you written that down somewhere? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just, yeah, I'm just checking back over. All right, so I, I, now you guys sorry. get to uh, pick your weapons. You can choose between a light melee weapon, a heavy melee, me ha heavy melee weapon, <laughs> light ranged weapon, light gun, heavy ranged weapon, and heavy gun. Guns are extremely powerful, but they don't they have have a limited ammunition. So if you use a gun more than once per encounter, you are probably gonna run out of ammunition. And you if you go to the next page you can see a chart on all their stats on how much damage they do and that sort of thing. Okay. Uh... Okay, right, I've got that down. Alright, so then you proceed to page 72. And pick between light armor, heavy armor, and or shield. Um... Uh, we gotta go with the max stuff, haven't we? Right. Oh, shit. How should... How should I write down this stuff on this thing? Then? Well, what are you picking? Oh, I'm probably gonna go with heavy armor and a shield. All right, so basically just make your AC uh, somewhere right somewhere under equipment. Write heavy armor and shield, and then write down your AC as 18. Ultimately, you guys decide the look of your armor and weapons. That's why it's so bare bones. There's no like, it's not like in fourth edition where you have a chart full of different weapons and names that you've never even heard of. Okay. What was my AC? Sorry, 18. Yeah. So have you guys picked your weapons that you want? The weapon? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I right, I've written down get, What is it? Uh, one melee weapon, one ranged weapon, and an explorer kit. So <laughs> pick a ranged and melee weapon. I wrote it down. Get a well. ranged one as well. Ooh. Yeah, you get, you get two. You get fancy stuff. So when it says ability dex slash and it means we can use either dexterity or intel. Yeah. So you're okay. gonna you're gonna want to write that down. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I'm trying to choose which which one. Are there no weapons that use charisma? God. I'm gonna copy this into the Skype just to make it easy. But that's basically what your attacks will look like. So you don't have to. Uh, so you, you don't have to keep referring to that chart. You can refer to the basic attack uh, formula. Do two-handed weapons uh, slow you down? Uh, does it say they slow you down? No. I just... Then they don't slow you down. Okay. There you go. Simple. Yeah, two-handed weapon. I've put my AC and stuff down. All right, so now you're going to want to go down to page 74 and pick a, a ranged and melee weapon. Now, remember, Perry. What you're page was it? Uh, page 74. It's like two pages down. Now, okay. for you, Perry, you can only pick one-handed weapons. Remember that. Shh. Unless I get rid of the shield. <laughs> yeah, unless you, get, unless you get rid of the shield. Yeah, if you're using a gun, you can only use it once per encounter. If you use it more than once per encounter, you're going to run out of ammunition at the end of the encounter. Because ammunition is, as it says here, ammunition is abstract. What is ammo? Oh, I can't, I can't. I'm going to have to go with a... So uh, two-handed weapon. Uh, you're gonna have to go for a two-handed weapon. So you gotta drop yeah, the shield, shield and yeah. drop your AC down to 17. Bullets are a limited resource that must be used sparingly in the D&D gamma, gamma world game. Ammunition is abstract. You either have ammo or you don't. If you do, you can use ammo mission to fire any weapon that requires ammo mission. If you don't, you can't. Yeah. So, how's it going? Uh, who's as uh, has anyone picked their weapons uh, yet, or are we still figuring this out? Uh, 
So the ranged weapons that aren't guns can be used as many times in a uh, yep encounter. Unlimited. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just keep using. Right. Them. Obviously, they aren't as powerful as a gun because a gun gets a little bit more of a bonus and has higher range. It's just got yeah. Yeah, it's just got more range if, and if you're gonna, higher damage in it. Yeah. If you're gonna go guns, you might as well go for a two-handed gun. Because no, that no, is I'm, literally I'll the most powerful uh, weapon. Weapon. That's two D ten. I'm gonna go for a two-handed ranged weapon as well as a two-handed sword. Uh, sword. Two-handed uh, melee weapon. All right, write that down somewhere on your character sheet. Yeah. And yeah. I also posted the basic attack formula in the Skype chat if you want to, you know, use that. And, you know, just make it easier. Alright. And okay. then when you're ready, uh, go to page 75 and we'll talk about what happens next. Oh. Hang on. I don't uh, have to pay any coins for this stuff, right? What? I don't have to pay any coins currently for anything. No, you stuff. don't have any money. What, what? This is the post apocalyptic future and you're worried about money? <laughs> Grab your bottle caps, man. We're spending lots here for this equipment. No, I'm no, not. there, just... there isn't really any currency. I mean, I suppose you could say people like to buy and trade in uh, tech and scavenge stuff. So it's more of a barter system. So you, your scavenged uh, stuff should be more like your, uh, you know, more of the currency. It's, it's a barter system more or less. It's like I'll trade you this duct tape for that uh, night vision goggles. We have night vision goggles. You may, depending on what you roll. I want that. You have to roll night vision goggles. Uh, yes. Yeah, literally, on, on the dice is a bit that says roll uh, night, vision, night goggles. vision goggles. Yeah. Gain yeah. dark vision ten, but you gain take a minus five penalty to perception checks when using this okay. item. Okay. I have chosen my stuffs. All right. So hmm. what are you picking? Uh, I'm going with a uh, lightweight two-handed melee weapon and a lightweight two-handed ranged weapon. Alright, nobody's springing for the guns. Interesting. Alright. Uh, so both of you, when you've written all that down, come to page 75. Come page with me. Okay. Okay. Alright, so... 1d4 in the starting gear. Alright, um... What's, what's, what's the difference between the light-handed hand, light and, and obviously, heavy? Light-handed? Light-handed and heavy? Uh, yeah, well, light and heavy. the damage is... Uh, heavy, heavy weapons have higher damage, yeah. but lower weapon accuracy. That's pretty much it. Also, the ability nice. score it uses. So, if you don't have high strength or con, you probably shouldn't be using heavy stuff. Yes, cool. I'm using heavy stuff, right? I've gone with I've gone with the heavy two-handed <laughs> weapon, which gives the which is the strength or con uh, yeah. thing. Uh, it's got plus accuracy two. plus two, and it's a two d eight. And yep. I've gone with a heavy range two-handed weapon, which is strength or con, accuracy plus two, damage two d eight, and it's the ten squares. Yeah. Uh, so range. write that on your character sheet. I am surprised none of you spinned for a gun. Uh, nah. All right. So when you guys are ready, let me know, and we'll do uh, gear now. So what page am I heading to, sorry? 75, once you've written all that down. Yep, okay. So on, for gear, you have two options. You can take the Explorer's Kit, which get everything in it, so backpack, bedroll, canteen, flint and spiel, rations, rope, climber's kit, grappling hook, hammer, pistons, rope, propelling harness, rope, all that, and then you have 1d4 plus one rolls on the starter gear table, or you can trade in your Explorer's Kit for an extra roll on the uh, starting gear table. I'll uh -huh. keep my kit. Alright, so write down kit. In just the stuff I have section? Yeah, write down everything you get for the kit. I'm oh, sorry, you don't get the climbers. I, I was reading the climbers kit off as something. So the explorers kit has a backpack, bedroll, canteen, flint and steel, ra ra ah, trail rations, and rope. That's it. Perry probably doesn't need one because he doesn't have to eat or drink. Yeah, Perry might actually be uh be okay with that. Where am I looking? Sorry for that. So, you're at page seventy five. You have two options for gear. You can yeah, start yeah, with yeah. An explore. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, yeah, there's the rolling thing, and then yeah. obviously there's the next page. It's everything like tabbed in. 
Yeah, everything tabbed the in from the Explorer's Kit. Now, you can trade that Explorer's Kit in for an extra roll on the starting gear, which could get you something like a riding horse, or a radio cell phone, or a night vision goggles. Why does he need a cell phone? He's a robot. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a built-in radio. Uh, oh, what low-tech robot am I? Bad robot. Don't, wait, yeah. Don't we have to, <laughs> yeah. We have to roll a D4? You have to roll a D4 to D4 plus one to see how many rolls you get. Okay. Now, are you going to, is everyone keeping their Explorer's kit? Yeah. Okay. I am. So roll your D4 and yeah. add one to it. I'll keep mine just in case, I mean. All right, it's fine. I'd rather Wait, have the backpack. You're rolling a D4 plus yeah. one. And this, Why? Because this determines uh, how many rolls you get on starting gear. All right, so you get two rolls. So roll two D20s, and then that'll be the extra items you get. Okay. Well, we all get two. We all get one D4. Oh, I got the max. Yeah, so, so you do you... a one D4 and then a D20, yeah? Yeah, and then how many D20s for how m the number you rolled. So, for example, uh, Blue Cat here can roll five D20s. So Craig is getting is a duct tape. Yeah. And a pickup and truck. Pick truck. Well, you know, what? <laughs> well, <laughs> three Why seats in the front. You guys oh, can okay. all sit in the front of this pickup truck. I'll si I have to sit in the back because I'm like a giant. <laughs> no, you got 10 miles per gallon, though, so you might need to get some uh, gas for that. What if you get two of the same thing? Ah, uh, then you, you get both of those. You get two of those items. So you get two pieces. You get two pieces of duct okay, tape. The, uh, what? <laughs> Okay, where's the uh, page? Oh, here, here we are. Are you are okay. you serious? <laughs> Two duct tape. Yeah, so you guys have three pieces or three rolls of duct tape between you, one pickup <laughs> truck, a two pickup two trucks. Two pickup trucks. <laughs> 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 Binoculars and an, a keel boat. What's a keel boat? Keel boat. That's like. I'm pretty sure that's something that goes on like this. I don't know. What are you guys gonna do with these vehicles? <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna. Uh, you can't even use it. You require a crew of four people. Okay, it's three a boat that goes down the Amazon River. Like it looks like one of those boats. You, it requires a crew of four people, though. There's three of you. Oh, uh, can we get I'm the light? Task. What? Can we get like the light edition? So like. It... I mean, I, I'll allow you to trade your keelboat in for some uh, gas. Boats don't use gas. Yeah, but you have two pickup trucks. It's very true. Okay. Okay, so I, I'll exchange my ten, my uh, keel boat for five gallons of fuel. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay. Obviously, I'm not gonna be cool if you exchange duct tape for gas, but uh. Yeah. Uh, can we? Sh <laughs> <laughs> can you please tell me what duct tape is used is used for? You'll think of ways to use it. Oh, actually, I actually, I got so tape. shit stuff. What would you get? You got uh. I got keel boat and binoculars. Oh my. <laughs> If you want to allow you to trade that kill boat in for another ten gallons of fuel, can I? And then can I? Can I change it for another roll? No. I'll let you trade it in for fuel though, because you guys can't really use a kill boat with with uh, four the, people. I want the night vision goggles. No, no you have binoculars. <laughs> Two duct tape. All right. So if if I trade the kill boat for how much fuel was it? Uh, five gallons of fuel. So you guys can uh. Take either one car a uh, hundred miles or both cars fifty miles. Wait, what? Because you have two cars. Yeah. And cars use oh, gas. Oh, right. So fuel. Mm -hmm. Can we, so can we trade the pickup for something? Um, I'm gonna say oh, gas. no. Yeah. <laughs> like trade. Like, would it be useful for trade? Later? Yeah. Oh, could you, trade you, it in the future? you could trade it in out of town. Yeah. So oh, yeah, I, I guess we could say you could trade in <laughs> for some fuel. It, it's a car, so I'll say 10 gallons of fuel for a car. Is that good, or should we keep two pickups? I mean, we don't really need to. Yeah, we, we'll we fit in there. Uh, you guys all way. fit in the front seat, too. Well, I mean, we, oh, yeah. Um, it, is it realistic to be able to trade this for, like, a laptop? Uh... Like at a tavern or something. Yeah, but it would be it would be a one to one trade. You wouldn't get anything else out of it. Could we not just attach the rope to the other pickup truck and pull it along? Yeah, but you're gonna lose you're gonna lose a lot of MPG off of that because you're towing something else, which yeah, slows but is, down. is it gonna be better than if we just drove both of them? Probably not, because you're looking at an extra five hundred miles. No, trading in one pickup for ten gallons of fuel, we're looking at an extra what hundred miles? 
Should we just trade in? Light. Yeah. Who, who's uh, pick up truck? Shall we trade in? Should trade in mine. Here, let's roll a uh, d20. Whoever gets higher has to trade it uh, in. I don't <laughs> mind. I don't. I, I don't mind trading mine in. I'll just carry some fuel. Yeah. So you get ten gallons okay. of fuel and remove your. Uh, yeah, yeah. Technically, this isn't the rules, but I'm I'm allowing this. Cause, um, that's the know. point of a GM. Yeah. A DM. Um, not a DM. GM, dang it. I don't know why <laughs> well, I care so much, trucks. but... We're talking about pickup trucks, dang it. Uh, yeah. Ten binoculars. Alright, so are we all set up here? Everyone have their uh, stuff written yeah. down? Yeah. And then... Five... Gallons. Okay, what do we have next? Wait, so how many miles do we get off of uh, gallon of fuel? Uh, right now you guys have... You ten gallon, ten miles per gallon. You have two hundred, you okay, have twenty gallons. Miles. So you have two hundred miles of fuel, or uh, yeah, usable fuel. Okay. <laughs> Why do we have to roll all the same stuff? <laughs> I know that was hilarious. <laughs> you guys have three rolls of duct tape, <laughs> two kill boats, two pickup trucks. <laughs> all right, everyone needs to go to page thirty-one because now we're gonna do your actual stats. Thirty-one. What? You get it. First level. Yeah, scroll to the bottom of the page. So your hit points at first level is 12 plus your constitution score. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Okay. Obviously your bloody value is all that. Now just go down the list and do that okay. sort of thing. Wait, what's our starting HP? Well, look, look at what it says. I can't read. Back. 12 plus constitution. So that would be like 12 plus 14 for me. Sorry, what's going on? Wait, so like if I if my constitution score is 14, then it's 12 plus 14 is my HP? Sorry, what? <laughs> I wasn't it, listening. So, <laughs> so if like my constitution score is 14, then it's 12 plus 14 is my HP? Yes, because that's what it says. Okay. What's happened since we all tried to shit him? Uh, we've gone to page 31 and started working out our actual stats. Okay. Wait, what? If you go to page 31, we actually figure out the stats, like your hit points, that oh, sort of yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Shit, we need them. Yeah, yeah. Kind of important. You kind of can't play the game without <laughs> them. Uh, I can math. This is interesting. Your armor class is actually instead of instead of half your level for all of this, it's your level. Probably because the level cap is ten. Mm. When it says constitution score, is that your flat score or your is that your flat modifier? Score. If it says score, it's the flat number. If it's modifier, it's your plus or whatever. Sick. Sick. So I get th I get thirty HP. Wow. Nice. I have twenty six. I think that's the highest you can get at this point in time. Thirty. Yeah, because that requires 18 to be your primary origins. Or your um, roll 3d6. Yeah, so 18 is the max you can get either way. Unless your origin, I think, says otherwise. Oops. Not what I want to do. So, Craig, what's your HP? 29. Aw. I think. feel so weak. And then just keep going throughout the list and yeah. Oh, out. there's more? Yeah, there's there's mm -hmm. your bloody value, your defenses, fort, reflex will, armor class, speed, initiative. Bloody all value, stuff. it's like it's what it always is. I know. Oh my word. Such different stuff. How will we ever survive? Oh, second wind's different Such by the way. Such different stuff. <laughs> Much new. Fortitude defense. 10 plus your level plus the better of your strength or constitution. I'm gonna run out of paper. Well. Where is it? So, Second Wind is different from regular 4th edition. It's been either upgraded or down late, ground, downgraded, however you want to see it as, to a minor action. It still gives you the plus two bonus to all your defenses, and it heals you for half of your hit points. Did we lose someone? No, okay, good. What was that plus two thing for? What plus two? What plus two? 
He says plus two attack bonus or whatever. I don't know. I wasn't really listening. I was talking about the. <laughs> I was talking about the changes to second wind. Okay. Because second wind is now a minor action. Uh huh. You get a plus two bonus to all defenses, and it heals half of your hit points, so it heals your bloody value. Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah. It's mostly because there's no dedicated healer in uh. In the game, I don't know if any origins give you healing powers. I'm not even sure. Otherwise, everything really works the same as 4th uh, edition. Uh, How is, how's it going, guys? Dexterity is one. It's going. So how, how are you to the armor class yet? Are you still working on that? Dexterity. And then so when we rolled like the d6s, mm -hmm. those were just flat out, or are those modifiers? No, those were your scores. The d6s, the d6s. Okay, you so we don't scores. actually get any modifiers to those. No, you do. If you go to page uh, right. fifty-nine, you'll see what a modifier you have for what score. There's a chart there for that. Hey, don't I have eighteen AC then? Because you get plus your level. Yes, you do. Screw you, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, no, no, I was just saying. Because that's where you write it. Okay. <laughs> and then once we do this, you guys get one last extra bonus, and then we can start playing. And we've been doing this for a good... 52 minutes. Oh, you you actually have a timer. Oh, good. I'm going to use you instead of my my writing this down. I'm using you for a <laughs> time. Commentary. Oh, what was the pitch we were on? Like 39 or we something? We were at 31, the chart's at 59. I'll be editing out, like, uh, portions of this to cut out the dead noise, but uh, beyond yeah, that, it's 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 gonna be one of those. It's just, it's gonna, it's gonna be like a five second clip. <laughs> of me just pulling my hair out and going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Taking forever. Uh. Alright. Are you done with all of them? I've I've done yeah. What's your what does it mean, but sorry. What's your AC? AC should be seventy. Se no, eighteen, <laughs> sorry. I thought you said seventy. Uh, yeah, seventy. <laughs> I'll take seventy. Uh yeah. Eighteen. All right, eighteen. Right. I forgot to add the uh, extra for my level. Yep, that sounds about right. What's your speed? Speed is five because I'm wearing heavy armor. Good, good. All right, so I need you to roll a d20 now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> one. So everyone in Gamma World has So I a... die before we start. <laughs> yes, rock falls, you die. <laughs> Irony, considering I'm made of rock. Do you have the audio <laughs> clip for the rolling of one? <laughs> uh, no, that's probably copyrighted to PAX, uh, so I'm not going to be makes. using that. <laughs> <laughs> you had a one in twenty chance to be a loser. No, okay, so everyone um, in the Gamma World game has, an, has a mutation due to the post-apocalyptic post nature, there we go, of the universe. Yours is a sensitive nose. I'm okay. gonna <laughs> try to get you the. <laughs> Bro, that's all the big numbers out here. Let me see if I can get it here. Wait, so Craig has a sensitive nose. Yes, Craig has a very sensitive nose. There you go, Craig. Oh, the everyone, iron. everyone else, cancel that. I'm sending that to Craig. That's his card. He can write that down okay. or look at that or whatever he wants to do. So, uh, I need to. Uh, I'm when you add half this. level, if you're rounding down, is it? 
zero. <laughs> Uh, Sorry. no, you don't, it's, not, it's full level, it's not half. No, no, for like, the fortitude. You're not, it it's not, is it half level? Yeah, it says half level. No, it's your level. Your level, why was I, oh, bloodied value is half, I, uh, okay. Plus, you're also used to fourth edition, which does half your level. This is, this yeah, is full level. Yeah, that's I can talk. Yeah. Sorry, what, what's up, Barry? <laughs> I was just gonna say, um, on the thing it says attack bonus my weapon it says the weapon's key ability mo score what's that what's that well that's either strength or con or dex or int that, that's why I, I oh shit right okay yeah so how do, yeah. how do you like your sensitive nose Craig? Uh, I can't see it at the minute you have to add me on skype oh okay have... um, <laughs> how do I how do I I just sent a request, so... Oh, you did? Shoot. Uh, I'm not yeah. seeing it. Are you not? Nope. Huh. That's strange. Hmm. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it let me uh, take the PDF from you the the other time, but yeah. this time it's just... Let's try it again. It's not that to take the image. What's the skill bonus stuff all about? Uh, don't worry about that. That's like when you roll, like roll a check. So you'll just re refer to page sixty. So it'll be like my plus four plus my level plus like charisma, and you add that to your roll. Does that work now, Craig, or no? Uh, yeah, it seems to be working now. All right. Yeah. There you go. And then I'm just gonna cancel everyone else, or well, they have to cancel themselves. Whatever. Anyway. So did did our basic weapons come with? Key ability modifiers? Yeah, they did. What were they? I don't know. You'd have to go back to the chart and look. That was something. Okay, so that was kind of part of the information. Like, I saw accuracy in the damage. If you go back. I don't know. Maybe I did write it. Because that was one of the things oh, you were yeah, supposed yeah, to write down. Is. All right, good. That's okay. I've, I've written down the character statistics now, Walt. Uh, you've written down everything? As in, the, as in like, AC, HP, bloodied. What, what's your AC? 18. What's your speed? Five. Good. I'm just making sure. Uh, roll d20. And Craig, you need to roll another d20 as well. Oh, do I? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I got a five, ladies and gentlemen. Two, three, four, five. All right. And then Perry, you also need to roll another d20. Ah. Eighteen. All right. Give me a second. Perry, this is the top half of your card. <laughs> it's gonna be like some sort of a pin. You have. Infravision? In oh. Basically infrared vision. You see thermal energy. <gasps> oh, that's awesome! You basically have night vision built into your face. Yeah. He is a robot. And what did you roll, uh, Craig? 18. 18. I'm um, looking for the... Alright, so 3, 6, 9... Uh... 12, Sorry, 15. Seth, which, right. one up, which, one up, which one am I up? Which one am I meant to be downloaded? Both of them. The, uh, for some reason, wouldn't let me copy both halves of the card, like the entire half of the card. So, the ones that one that are the ones that's in your yeah, there we go. The ones that I sent to you. Yeah, both of them. Okay. Uh, yeah. Craig, your piece of Omega Tech, which is basically ancient tech from yeah. the past, is a razor hand grenade. I'll tell that. <laughs> so. Your Omega Tech you can only use once per, uh, basically just once, and then it's gone. Uh, certain pieces of Omega Tech you can salvage if your level is equal to or higher than the salvage number, and that becomes like a, a permanent piece of tech that you can have. Okay. Your Alpha Mutations, though, um, I believe you use them once and then get a new one, I think. I have to I have to make sure to check on that, so give me a moment. Sir. Yo, what's up? I don't need to read, be able to read what it says on the card, do I? Uh, yeah, can you not read it? No. Well, it says you can see thermal energy, and then on the, the other part of that I can read says overcharge. You, when you start your turn, yeah. you can roll a d20. Oh, can you, can you guys not read your cards? But I can't, can't read the part that's on the, like, the papery bit color. Is that the same for you, Craig? Yeah, it's the same for me as All well. Alright, so I'll just, uh... For the sensitive nose, so we, Craig, can you read the overcharge stuff? Yeah. or? Yeah, yeah, I can read the overcharge. All it's right. just the uh, white part. So the overcharge is when you use your alpha mutation, you can overcharge it, uh, and then 
you can either if you you roll a d20 if you get and then when you yeah. when you roll a d20 you uh, get whatever effect so okay. if for example for a sensitive nose if you want to overcharge his ability when you use it uh, you roll a d20 and then you replace if you roll higher than 10 you replace each of your perception checks with a 20 and gain plus two bonus to attack rolls if you get a nine or less you smell all you can smell is yada yada yada. You know that's how that yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. I'm explaining it oh, poorly. Oh, you get Okay. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. So these you just keep forever. These are your mutations, and I don't think these get replaced ever. I mean, they might get replaced. I think if you roll one, I have to look into that a little bit. Uh, but your sensitive nose benefit is you have a strong sense of smell. You gain a plus ten power bonus to perception checks, and you ignore penalties to concealment. Okay. okay. And Perry, okay. your infrared, in, yeah, your thermal energy vision and night vision uh, mutation says you have dark vision and you can see invisible creatures or objects, and you can see night through vision. fog, smoke, and obscuring darkness. I have night vision. Yeah, basically, you have in built-in night vision. Yeah, that was the mutation you rolled. You were so excited uh, so for it, it. Yeah, the thermal energy. Yeah, it? that that's that's basically it. So what was it? Uh, I could see thermal energy. Yeah, so you can see in darkness, through fog, smoke, and other obscuring conditions. You can also see invisible creatures or objects. And then you can overcharge this ability, and whatever, and use the overcharge stuff. Okay, Craig, did you write that down or? Yeah, yeah, I did. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. I don't think you wait. So. I wrote. I wrote the sensitive nose down. I did just. Uh, uh whoops. Oh, and you don't get the razor grenade. My bad. Oh, okay. You rolled an 18? Uh, it was an 18, yeah. Yeah, give me a second, Blue Cat. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17. You get uh, ceramic metal armor. Okay. You have heavy armor. Uh, it has an encounter power, it's an immediate interrupt, personal trigger. An attack knocks you prone or subjects you to force movement, and your effect is you are you you are not yeah you aren't knocked prone or subjugated to force movement from triggering for the triggering attack. In addition, you gain resist five to all damage against the attack. It also has salvage two. At second level, you can salvage this armor, and it becomes heavy armor plus seven armor bonus to AC and plus one bonus to fortitude. So if you wait till second level to use its ability. Yeah. and then use it, you can basically keep it. Okay. And see if you can read that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to explain it out again. Uh, I could I could read the last one, so, I don't, so this one should be alright. Alright. We'll have a look. Okay, and then Perry, what did you roll again? I haven't rolled yet. Oh. I'll do that for you now. Roll it, yeah, roll, roll the last one for me. 13. 13. So, 3, 6, 9, 15, oh wait, 14... You have a face mask. Oh, one second. I'm gonna send this one to you, and hopefully you can read it. Oh yeah, I can. I can completely read this one. All right. What this does is you can use both of these encounter, the both of these powers in the same encounter. They are encounter powers, minor action, and one's a standard attack. Minor action is you disguise yourself and gain a plus five bonus to interaction checks used to enhance the disguise until the end of the encounter. So if you're trying to sneak in someplace, you can use this as a, a bonus. And you also have encounter psychic attack, standard action, close pass three, level plus six versus will, 3d8, uh, charisma modifier, twice your level of psychic damage, and you push the target three squares. It's a blast though, so you can have like multiple targets of that attack. Can you read it? Yes, no, maybe so. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Can you read the card I just sent you? Oh, yeah, I can read it, yeah. All right, Blue Cat, what's, uh, roll 2d20s. Okay. Uh, one, All right, 19. Oof. Oh, boy. Uh, six, nine... What chart am I on? Uh, no charts. I'm doing this. Nine... 12, 15, 18, 19. You have quills. Your character has spreaded hundreds of needle sharp qu quills. 
as an immediate reaction melee, an enemy targets you with a melee attack, you can target them with this attack, which is level plus 5 versus AC. Uh, if you hit them, you do 1d12 strength modifier damage, add twice your level of physical damage, and the target takes a minus 2 penalty to uh, attack rolls. And you can use this power a second time while it's readied, and there's some sort of arbitrage thing you can do. Are you going to send me yep. a thing with all those words? Yeah. Okay, because I don't remember this. There you go. And then nine, you said. All right. <clears throat> you get a music box. And you can listen to music. Yes. Listen to those rockin' eighties tunes. Uh, no, you have a. You can use its power as a close blast three. Each creature in the blast. Uh, it is level plus 6 versus fortitude, it does 3d8 plus intelligence modifier plus twice your leveled damage, and the target is deafened. So, does deafen... Uh, I assume when it deafens them, it's a pretty loud, or...? Yes, it's it's quite loud. Is allies affected? Uh, yeah, if, uh, if I believe so, let me read it again. Yeah, each creature in the blast, so if you're within the blast, then yeah, you're, you're, uh... It. Okay, can you reread the close one? Oh, can you not read it? No. Okay, let me find it. <clears throat> Alright. Immediate reaction melee. Trigger. The enemy targets you with a melee attack. Trigger. Enemy targets. Okay. Target. Oh, sorry, attack. Level 5. Oh, sorry, 5 plus level. Level. Versus AC. Versus AC. On a hit, does 1d12 plus strength mod. Hit 1d12 plus strength mod. Plus twice your level. Plus twice level. And the target takes a minus two penalty to attack rolls. Save ends. Takes minus two penalty to attack. Rules for how long? Uh, save ends. Save ends. Yeah, so he'll make a saving. Th oh throw. right. Okay, and then effect. You can use his power a second time while this card is readied. And I'll I'll get into what all that means in a bit. Ready. And ready. overcharge. Ah. Ready. I remember this part. Ready. And then you also have underneath that overcharge. Overcharge. When you hit with this power, you can roll a d20. Power. Roll d20. Uh, 10 plus. The target also takes ongoing 5 physical damage. Save ends. Target takes ongoing how much? 5? Uh, yeah, 5 ongoing damage. Save ends. Okay. And then I had the uh, music box, right? Uh, no, nine or less. Okay, uh. You must make an attack against yourself and each creature within three squares of you. Discard this power after the attack. Do attack against self? Yeah, so make an attack against yourself and each creature within three squares of you. Okay. Do we take on ongoing damage? Uh, no. Un unless you hit yourself with the attack. So what happens is at the end of the encounter, if you have any readied alpha mutations, you discard them and draw new ones. Okay. So, and by readied means ones that you haven't used. So if, for example, Perry's Night Vision, after the first encounter, it's going to go away. What? So, wait, what? <laughs> so his night vision, after the first in, at least the way I'm reading this, after the first encounter, his night vision goes away. It says, all right, so refreshing readied powers. At the end of the encounter, discard your readied alpha mutation car, pa, every, <clears throat> At the end of an encounter, discard your readied alpha mutation card and draw a new card to replace it. You can draw blah, 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 blah. 
so that's how it works if you okay. counter wait but is... I when I when I asked about the if I do hit myself I do take on going there yeah if you hit yourself I mean that's you basically okay, yeah, attack against right. yourself Okay, that I don't know. That seems a little weird because that means if you've used it, it doesn't go away. You can use one also tap a turn side and you've used power. Discard it, please. I think what that's saying is that at the end of each encounter, you completely discard and redraw all your alpha mutations. Because that's <laughs> that's the way I'm reading it here. And I'll, I'll so that means I'll lose my face mask and stuff as well. No, the face mask is going to make attack, which is different. I'll copy and paste the exact wording of it to you guys so you you know what I'm talking about. So there was no point in me writing down the... No, because you, you, you might use it. But the Omega Tech you're hanging on to. That being said, if you roll a natural one on any die roll during an encounter, you experience an Alpha Flux, which is you have to discard one of your ready to Alpha Mutation cards. Wait a minute, the, the discarded card can be one of whose... Oh, okay. The, the, which is the thermal energy, and it's the... That, which is the thermal energy, yeah? Mm -hmm. Omega Tech is also a one-time use, but they don't go away until, you know, you've used it. Or from the Game Master's deck, GM, I was right. Wait, what? Well, I mean, GM Game Master's deck. GM is a thing. Well, GM is a thing, but <laughs> DM is also a thing. It's interchangeable. Yes, but you corrected me when I was technically correct. Well, technically, both ways are saying I are correct. I just prefer DM. I'm calling you GM from now on. I'm gonna stab you. Not really though. You're the general manager. No. One you next roll. My one weakness. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's that's the difference between Omega Tech and Alpha Mutations. Alpha mutations are kind of constantly in flux, while Omega Tech you hang on to for a period of time. Omega Tech also Is has my, Omega Tech also has salvage team. on certain cards. I think Craig has one that says salvage on it. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. it's second level. If he uses Omega Tech, once he uses its power, he can hang on to it instead of just getting rid of it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. It does, yeah. It turns right. into heavy armor. If I do it that, that it turns into heavy armor with a plus one to fortitude. So, mm -hmm. and that's I think pretty much it, and we're ready to play. Yeah. Does, ever, does anyone have any questions before we begin? Oh, go 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 go. No, no, <laughs> no questions. Uh, just yeah. The the music box is Omega, right? Yeah, the music box is one of your Omega tech. So Omega Omega's the one you keep, yeah. I almost don't like. Uh the fact that you lose your alpha mutations cuz i i don't yeah. know it requires more writing yeah <laughs> read read more into it maybe we don't <laughs> i I've, I've read all they have on alpha mutations i mean let's get started more writing later yep more um i mean yeah. all they have is literally a page on well actually two pages on there's a big difference I know there's a big difference between one page and two pages. I don't know. Anyway, that's uh, enough for the first one, considering we just got the characters done. So, uh, till next time. <laughs>